Greetings YouTube, Yellow Belly here. Just a quick update on some of my systems. Uh, let's try and get this in. Uh, PlayStation Classic. I've been going on about this, but I've realised uh, I've never shown it, so I've just quickly shown it. I know there's lots of different hacks for it now. The one I went for was Bleem Sync, because all I wanted to do was put the games I wanted on it, and that's what I did. Uh, I know there's possibly better ones, uh, out there, but this is the one I wanted. Um, it was the first one. All I wanted was the, as I said on my previous video about minis, I just wanted the games I wanted. Uh, so, as you can see, there's a lot more games there than what comes with the standard unit. Uh, it's got a pen drive in it, I can add, change, do what I want. Uh, let's have a look what we've got. What Elena Ritsushinda and Bloody Raw. Uh, Bushido Blade, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, I think that came, did that come with it or not? No, I don't think it did, I, I think I put that one on. Cool Borders 2 possibly came with it. Uh, Crash, and Crash 2, and Crash 3 Warps. Uh, Destruction Do, that came with it. Einhander, uh, Great Shoot 'em Up, Final Fantasy, uh, Gradius, Gaiden, uh, GC2, Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto, uh, that came with it. Jumping Flash, I think that came with it, didn't it? Uh, Klonoa came with it, I think Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Medieval, here we go. This this is what I wanted, Medieval. Uh, loved this game when it came out. I did have a, a PS1 when they first come out, and this was uh, on a disc uh, from a magazine, and I bought this game so that I could... Uh, because I just loved the demo of it, and of course Medieval 2, 25 Klansmen uh, will appreciate those. Mega Man 8, uh, another good game. Uh, let's have a look, uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, yes. Mr. Driller, I'm not sure if that came with it. Oddworld, did that come with it? Not sure. Hard type shoot, I love me shoot em ups. R4, Ridge Racer, Type 4, again. Did that come with it? Not sure. Rayman, Resi. Resi 2, Resi Director's Cut, Persona, I think, did that come with it? Road Rash, Soul Blade, Spyro, and Sp which one's that? Year of the Dragon uh, and Star Wars Dark Forces, Rebel Assault 2, Super Puzzle Fighter, Siphon Filter, Rainbow Six, Tekken 3, Thunder Force 4, again, another cracking game, Tomb Raider, I don't think it came with Tomb Raider, which was, which was uh, a shame because it was. The game that made the system. Tomb Bar. Great game. Just as Metal thing came with it. Wild Arms, not sure if that came with it. And Background. So yeah, just that I can add, take away, etc. Also what I want to show you, if I just knock that off now, is... If I can just swap over. You'll have to excuse, I'm used, having to film the screen. Uh, oh, I'll just plug this in and hopefully it'll work. This is my Mega Drive Mini, which uh, is not the official, it's the Mega Pi. As people know, I couldn't wait. It's, they, were, um, they were hinting at it, hinting at it, and we didn't know what was going on. And I literally just, oops, there goes something. And I literally couldn't wait for it, so I made my own. Um, is it as good as the new one that's just come out released? Don't know. Not played it, uh, but this will certainly do me. Switch it on. Now, the difference being is when this finally uh, comes on and focuses, etc. I've updated it recently. Come on, switch on. There we go, with Blast 16. What an absolute awesome front end. Love it. Blast 16's um, bit, pretty much uh, a front end for it. I did. I was running RetroPie as normal, but again, oh, have I pulled the controller in the wrong one? I think I have, haven't I? Just let me undo that. Look at in there. Oh, that's weird. Let me re redo all these. Let's do a quick reset on that. 
Hmm. I don't know why it's done that, but never mind. I'll uh, reset it. Oh, this might be the other controller, that's why. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I just had it normally on RetroPie. And it was, uh, it was alright, but it did the job, but it needed a front end. I love my front ends, especially my arcade. So what I did was, this came out and I thought, yep, yeah, that's the one for me. Absolutely lovely. There we go, Thunder Force 3. One of my favourite games. That's on the new one. Again, Super Thunder Blade. Let's have a look, sort of so down, sort of a million. T2, T2, the arcade. Technicop. Turtles. Turtles, Terminator. Thunder Force 2, Thunder Force 3, Thunder Force 4. Which it isn't on the new one. I thought they would have put that one on, but they didn't. But I can understand why they put Thunder Force 3 on. Back in the day, um, when the Mega Drive first came out in Japan, uh, we could get it on import in the UK. And I got one imported over one of the, and got one of the first ones in the country. And I got this with it, uh, because I like the look of it. Um, I, they didn't come with pre-built in games or a, a game with it. You literally bought your console, then you bought your games. It wasn't until they got to the UK and then they started doing packaging with Sonic and all the other things. But yeah, Thunder Force 3, love that. Thunder Force 4, again, awesome. Turrican, two crude dudes, Ultimate Mortal Kombat, Urban Strike, back to mine. I think that's on the, uh, the new Mega Drive Mini or Genesis Mini. Uh, Venom, uh, Viewpoints. Uh, why did I put viewpoint? I don't know. Uh, virtual Fighter, Virtual Racing, Virtual Finball. Uh, what's that? Warlock. Yeah, so I've got some Genesis games on here as well. <clears throat> uh, I, I pretty much just grabbed loads. Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy, Worms. Nice uh, English game there for you. X Men, X Men, Xenon, Mega Blast. Uh, add that on the ST. Uh, there's any golf zero wing zombies Zool. Then we go into uh, Master System games as well. I've got Master System on here. Uh, I've got Aerial Assault, Afterburner, Alex Kid. Ah, I've got. Oh, I could keep going, but yeah, I put all all the uh, the Master System games. A load of Master System games. Dizzy uh, for those who are into Dizzy, not me personally. Uh, Everything uh, pretty much sorted itself out. I must get a cover for that. So the box art. Ninja Aaron. So yeah, you can see the... Uh, definitely... Uh, the Master System boxes were not too clever. At all. Wonder Boys again. Uh, some Game Gear games. On here. I thought I'd have some Game Gear. Uh, yeah, Game Gears. So I've got a load of Game Gear games again some of the covers didn't come through i can sort that out i just need to put them on the uh, on a pen drive and it'll recognize them which is cool yeah what loads of game gears stuff chase hq <laughs> great game and then back to right so here we go so uh, starting with a ah, real monsters adam's family clay lancer great shoot some more batman and robin mighty max aero blasters aero Arrow, Afterburner 2, uh, Aladdin, uh, which, now I don't think they put this on, the, no, it's Disney they won't have for the licensing, that's not, surprisingly not on the uh, Mega Drive Mini, but again, this is my own version, so I can have whatever I want on it, Elisa Dragoon, that is, I believe, on the Mini, all to pieces, Animaniacs, I remember that, Remember that cartoon show? I used to love that in the 90s. Animaniacs, Another World. Some arcade classic collections as well. I like I like a little bit of everything. Uh, Arcus Odyssey, not, not, not tried that one yet. There's some games on here that I've never played, I'll be honest. You do get option paralysis. Uh, uh, also, what's going on downstairs? On our blades, that's our best of the best. I think bloodshot. So we're on B. <laughs> so there we go. I'm not going to go through them all, name them all, but as you can see, fair bit more uh, 
Bloodlines next gen on the Castlevania. Chase HQ2. Uh, Chuck Rock, Son of Chuck. Again, various compilations, games. Cost me, I think it cost me roughly the same price really as the Mega Drive Mini. That's, I think that's coming out in the UK at about 70 odd quid. So I think it was 35 for the uh, Raspberry Pi, sorry, uh, about the same for the case, uh, if not less, uh, off Flea Bay, Dynamite Duke, Heady, East Swat, Earthworm Jim, and to Elemental Master. So, Eternal Champions, uh, Fantasia, sorry, again, Dizzy. Fatal Fury, Fire Shark, Flash Pack. Yeah, so that's F. Again, lots of games that. I mean, it's like this Gargoyles. Oh, great, great game that was. Ghostbusters, not the 80s Ghostbusters. The uh, the 90s one, Ghosts and Ghosts, Gods. Gods, great game. Bit Map Brothers again, Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe 3. <laughs> so, yeah, Janug. Is like very immortal. Uh, I think the immortal was a um, isometric, if I remember right. James Pond again, very Englishy type games. Joe and Mac, brilliant game. So yeah, I've got various. I've got Mega Drive. I've got uh, Genesis, and obviously I don't have to worry about regions, etc. But. Uh, if you're not fancying the Mega Drive 2, uh, sorry, Mega Drive 2, the Mega Drive Mini that's just been released because of the lack of games, I would say wait because it more than likely will be hacked like the PlayStation and all the others have been. It will be hacked, guarantee. Uh, so I would advise waiting until it, and then get one. Uh, I don't know if it, it, saying that it's. Uh, You've got to think about availability. Depends on how many they plan on making. If, they, if it's a continual thing or if it's a one-off. Shining in the darkness. What an RPG. Shinobi, Simpsons. Uh, so if you can, wait. If not, get it. Or get one of these and have all the games you want. Like I said, I've had this for over a year now. And I've only just updated it to the Blast 16. Which is uh, absolutely... Awesome front end for it. Absolutely awesome. Um, one thing I do do is, which I, is a, I wish I had more access to. I mean, if they update it, I don't know. What I wish they did, would do is, um, yeah, we're back to T's now. Turtles, Terminators, and back to Thunder Force 3, which was my first game. So, yeah, the what I would advise is. Uh, Go for it. Either way, it's an uh, awesome system. Uh, hopefully, I can change the output at some stage. Maybe get into it a little bit more. The um, to change the resolutions. I need to drop because this is at 720p on this panel. But I do all my gaming on a CRT, and I, when I had it on RetroPie. I could alter the resolution right down and put it to, I've got a um, HDMI to SCART adapter and it would display perfectly on my CRT. With this at the moment I don't think, you can't change the, res, uh, the resolutions the as much as you could on uh, RetroPie but I'm sure they may update that but I'm happy to play with it on here for now. I've got many Raspberry Pis already with the Genesis on stuff on it. Gen I can see I'm saying Genesis now. Mega Drive I should say. But yeah. Hooked up. Uh, but mainly I'm more of an 8 bit, 16 bit and that's it. <laughs> the, uh, the I did do the PlayStation for a while when it came out but it didn't uh, it didn't last long. It's uh, it was more of a, a thing with my brother more than anything because that's who I used to, my younger brother is who I used to do all my gaming with so I gave him everything 
it's funnily enough I've just not long made him an arcade system um, well full, a full retro pie system on the Raspberry Pi for himself because he lives so far away now anyway so uh, well, that's a gives you a rough idea of the uh, obviously the hacked PlayStation um, and the Mega Pi <laughs> Raspberry Pi, sorry, I'm a uh, rough day today health-wise, so a bit difficult. I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, I'll catch you on the next vid. So that's it, Yellow Belly, out.